Have you ever wondered about substituting carriages? Today's adventure is on the KS950 Toyota machine. Here is its original carriage. It's got some issues that need to be addressed. I found this carriage at a thrift store. It's a KS858 and it does fit on the bed. Note that it is in its thrift store condition. I have not cleaned it up yet. Don't blame me for that. If it works, it will soon get the TLC it deserves. My original hope was that I could borrow parts from this carriage to fix the original. That isn't going to work out. But there seems to be some serendipity that may make it work out anyway. Without any yarn at all, it does appear to operate the needles normally. Off where you cannot see, I am presently removing the sinker plate since we're not truly knitting so we can have a better look. Very slowly. To me, this looks like normal stockinette action. Things that I am checking that you would want to check also if you try a substitution because this is always a risky thing, unless it's well documented. This one's not. Do I feel any scraping or resistance or undue metal against metal tension? No, I do not. Is the machine noisier than usual? No, it is not. If I do something imperfect, like stop mid-row, is there hesitation or a tendency to snag? No. So I think it is time for me to do a little cleaning and oiling, get that sinker plate on and some yarn on the machine and see what we think in real life knitting. I have a very few needles e-wrapped. The point of that is to put as few needles at risk as possible to get the first test. <clears throat> the carriage is set for stockinette knitting to knit back from hold and I'm going to use stitch size 4 because this is Tamastilo. It's a thin yarn and I'm starting with it because almost all machines, standard gauge machines, like it very well. This is the very genuine first test. The first row I've ever tried. You're here with me. I don't know what will happen. It knitted! I placed all the needles in hold again to knit back because that's a little bit of help I nearly always give the machine. Let's see if it'll just keep knitting. Well, it's a drain. There are some things we don't know yet, so let's move on to those. Moving up to stitch size 6 with Tam 3-ply Astrocryl. It's a little bit more of a challenge because it's a thicker yarn and it's a little bit fuzzier, but still most standard gauge machines knit, don't argue about knitting it. I hung my first loop on here and it didn't knit off properly. So, but there are several reasons for that besides the machine, such as this having elongated. So let me fix it by hand, tighten it up, and we'll keep going gently, patiently, and see what happens. Well, after I fixed my initial error, I don't see any problems at all. What I'm really hoping to do is a project with Tam Micro Tam. It's much thicker, so let's change to it and see how it goes. Micro Tam is as thick as most standard gauge, gauge machines will knit, so I'm going to stitch size 10. Sometimes it will knit on 9, but this is for a loose flowing summer top, so a soft fabric is desirable. Yay! Since the last scene, I have increased the number of stitches so as to get a respectable swatch for my upcoming project. 
and I've run into two problems that I'm still working through, which is normal when you rescue a salvage carriage. First of all, one of them was operator error. I forgot to change the tension on the mast, loosen it, for this thicker yarn. So that helped a lot. There's also a stiff spot in the carriage, so I'm alternately knitting a few rows, taking it off, and lubricating it, looking for stiff spots in the flippers and repeating, and that'll keep up for a while. Here's the limitation. This is a stockinette carriage for this machine because although tuck, plain, and empty, which is slip, all work, watch what happens. I've got it set on tuck. And although I have a card in, no selection occurred and every needle tucked. The same thing happens if you I've set to slip. And what will happen is it just slips the whole road. It doesn't acknowledge the card. That is because this carriage does not interface with what's back in there, the patterning mechanism. You know, on a brother, it's a drive belt. It's a cylindrical object with grooves in it back in the Toyota, but it works very similarly. And this bed, this gauge, this carriage simply doesn't interface with it at all. There should be, if we were using the correct bed, a lever down here that would be used to select the needles. And we not only don't have one, there is no way to use one with this bed. So, stockinette only. But that's okay. I'm going to do a stockinette project. I've changed my mind about micro tan. I've decided it's too thick for the summary project. So I'm now swatching a composite yarn. Two really thin industrial strands run together that will create a fiber blend and come out to about a fingering weight yarn. 540 successful rows so far, no problems. As you can see, I'm making a two-tone design. 